Hey, this is John Brock with Brockworks, back for another quick case study for constructability 3D modeling. Uh, this is a builder that we work for out of Colorado, and you can see it's a pretty intricate set of trusses on this good size house. And so um, what we're able to do is get the trusses directly from their vendors and whether they're using MyTech or whatever other program, most of the times they're able to export us a file, a 3D file that we can then bring in, clean up, and then and snap them right where they go. And then instantly can see where there's problems that you really just can't tell from looking at 2D uh, truss drawings and layouts. And so just kind of diving into this when you can see there's a nice cathedral ceiling in this bathroom, but there's a big girder truss here that wound up right in the doorway, right where those pocket door frame is. So that wouldn't have worked. Um, coming around back, there's a dormer on the back where they missed the plate height, got the incorrect plate height. So this wall would have been to have to be cut back down because these trusses had to plane out. And really they needed another truss in here and move this one over. But again, all that was caught well in advance. Uh, there was some odd issue with the trusses were dipping down into this, into this hallway, as you can see here, quite a few of them. Um, and that was a, a trust mistake in their program, but uh, we were able to catch that right away. And same case in this bedroom here. Some head knockers here where these trusses had dipped down. Around back here, there was uh, uh, all these trusses were stubbed at the incorrect location. They were based on this dimension to this front, but the wall stepped back. And so these needed to be stubbed back into here. So they would not have been bearing correctly. Um, front porch had this beautiful timber frame element here that's supposed to be a cathedral ceiling with tongue and groove got a window back in there and they had put a set of trusses in there which needed to go away so uh, the problem was there was quite a few uh, truss issues and I only hit on just a few of them um, the solution is we were able to uh, go back and forth with the truss manufacturer until we got it just perfect and the result is that this builder did not lose uh, you know, countless days of delay and really thousands of dollars dealing with uh, trust mistakes and, and trust issues, which should have never happened. And we're able to catch ahead of time by uh, building a nice uh, 3D model like this. So hope you enjoyed watching and uh, continue for more. Thanks.